I volunteered for the Army in October 1942, and uh, I was assigned to the Army Air Corps. I was shipped out to Great Britain on the Queen Elizabeth and went into combat operations near Ipswich in England in a fighter squadron. From there, I went to General Bradley's headquarters in London as part of the infantry. We landed in Omaha Beach uh, during the invasion of Normandy. Then we skirted around the German lines and got behind them in Laval. Then we went to uh, the Palace of Versailles uh, and I slept for three weeks in the King's Horses Stables. Uh, from there on to Verdun the famed city of World War I. And uh, during the Battle of the Bulge, I was sent up to Spa in Belgium and Maastricht in Holland. As we advanced through Germany, I was in Germany in April of 1944, uh, 45 rather, and uh, I was across the Rhine when the war ended. And at that time I received a commission direct commission and went to military government as a second lieutenant. After the war, using the GI Bill of Rights, uh, I got my master's degree from the University of Florida and a PhD from the University of Michigan. And uh, I taught, for, taught humanities at the University of Florida for 29 years. After the war, I remained in the reserve until 1980 and uh, had to retire after 38 years of military service. Recently, uh, I was awarded the uh, title of uh, Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur by the French president uh, for wartime service in France. And uh, I'm wearing it now. This is uh, dating back to the time of Napoleon. Uh, he created the order and uh, I'm very proud that the French government has uh, taken the trouble to recognize the soldiers who were there, American soldiers who were there on their soil during World War II. Well, speaking for all veterans, we appreciate uh, having a day of recognition and uh, we are glad to be greeted at any time by people who say, uh, we thank you for your service.